Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate post like on Facebook using Socinator. Liking targeted posts is a great way to engage with other Facebook users. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right click on your Facebook account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Facebook through Socinator. Let's click Post Like. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to like a number of Facebook posts within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for post like activity. Let's begin with the first one, Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted posts to like. So you can choose to engage with posts from the following. The first one is timeline. Check this if you want to engage with your own posts. So these are the posts in your timeline or in your own Facebook profile. For newsfeed, these are posts which show up in your own newsfeed. For friend timeline, these are the posts on a specific Facebook user. So we need to enter the profile URL here. So let's say this particular Facebook profile. So paste it here. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking that button. Select the right file and click open. So when you're done, click save. You may also target posts in a specific group. So we need a Facebook group URL here. Let's choose a how to draw manga group. Uh, copy the group URL, paste it here. Again, you may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Click save when you're done. For pages, we need a Facebook page URL this time. So this will target the posts of this specific Facebook page. Copy the page URL, paste it here. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Click save when you're done. Next, we have custom posts list. We need a specific Facebook post. So let's say uh, this one, for example. Click share and click copy link. Success. So paste the link here and click save when you're done. For publisher campaigns, it depends on the publisher campaigns you have created using Socinator. Copy the campaign ID and paste it here and click save when you're done. For keywords, we can enter keywords uh, related to the post. So let's say the, the post should have cats, for example. So click save when you're done. Finally, we have profile scraper campaigns. So this depends on the profile scraper campaigns you have created using Socinator. Copy the profile scraper campaign ID and paste it here and click save when you're done. The next category is page post react by. So you can choose to react using your own account and your own page as well if you have your own Facebook page. So we need the Facebook page URL here. Paste it and save when you're done. The next category is reaction type. So when liking posts, you have the option to react. So you may choose to simply like the post. You may also choose other reactions such as love, haha, wow, sad, and angry. The next one is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should like posts. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 25, medium, fast, or super fast. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click advanced settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Facebook post is liked. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after liking the number of posts you set in number of likes per job. Number of likes per job will allow you to specify the number of Facebook posts you want to like per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of Facebook posts to like per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max likes per day. 
You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep liking posts even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click add interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day Let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m., click Add Interval. So as you can see, you can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Facebook Post Like and click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Facebook Post Like. The next tool is Post Filters. This allows us to filter the posts we want to like on Facebook. The first one allows us to filter by reaction count, so you can specify the range of likes, shares, and comments of each post. So for example, 100 to 200 likes. Next, we can filter by posted date, so specify how old the post should be. Let's say it should have been posted between 1 and 5 days. Next is post type, so you can choose to ignore posts without media, so text only. You may also ignore images and videos if you want. Finally, you may also filter by blacklisted or whitelisted words in the caption. Blacklisted words are words that should not be in the caption. So let's say you don't want to like posts containing the word politics, for example. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're done, click save. For whitelisted words, these are the words that you want to be in the caption. So let's say you want cats, for example. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're done, click save. The last configuration category is after post like action. So this allows us to perform actions after liking a specific Facebook post. So the first one will allow you to comment on the post after liking it. So check this box, specify the delay between each comment, and you can type your comment here. Let's say cool. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. When you're done, click save. If the post you liked is from a user, then you also have the option to send friend request. So you may add the Facebook user who posted the post you liked. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start liking posts on Facebook, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. After saving, let's click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating post like on Facebook using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Facebook. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's switch to the engage tab and select post like on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign, let's call it Facebook Post Liker. For search query, let's target posts with keywords containing cats, click save, and these should be posts from our newsfeed. For page post react, let's use our own account. For reaction type, let's choose like and love. For job configuration, let's select slow. For post filters, let's ignore posts without media. For after post like action, let's send request if it is a user's post. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Facebook accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, click the box of the account and the save button. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where you can see that we have successfully created our Facebook post liker campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.